And hello everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings. Something interesting happened. We finally got our genius son. So Ragnar Skulison Skald is our new name. I mean, that is just an absolutely, yep, epic name. <laughs> and he's a genius and he has the learning trait now. So we have, we are in for a really good king in this regard um, that we can then use. Um, for now, we just keep him like that. Of course, he still needs a, a guardian or someone that educates him. We could do it ourselves, but we are not an educated learner. So let's just see if we have someone that is good at learning. Um, with the learning skill, we actually have the queen, my wife, and um, she's a learner too. So she would could, she could give us this trait. And let's actually do this this way. There's no other one, right? No. So let's give her the learner and she is learning with him. Oh, convert culture, convert faith. That is most likely because Ragnar School is in Skold. <laughs> this is such a cool name. Um, Ragnar School is in Skold is Norwegian. My wife most likely is, yep, yeah, she's Tengri and Bulgar. So she's coming from these steps. Um, no, we are not doing any of that, of course. She's just there to learn him. And, he, oh, we are being invited to a feast by a very, uh, very intricate character that is High Chieftain Tyke. He's good at intrigue, um, but he likes us. So I might actually, should we go for this feast? He, ah, no, I'm not going for this feast. I have, I'm afraid of someone inviting me to a feast that has a high intrigue rating. Usually... I'm not someone there, even though I probably doesn't have any motivation there. Oh, another um, challenge that we get here. Um, I've been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, and they all seem to agree that the world will end in 6,000 years after its creation. By my calculations, we are less than a century away. However, Freya urges me to keep it to myself. Um, that's a very in intricate insight there. Thank you for that. Um, everyone deserves it. Oh, a reasonable point. We do get 250 piety. We lose 75 prestige. But I'm fine with that. We want all the piety um, in the world right now. Now, how do we increase our piety? Of course, by raiding. We have the raiding party up. I'm going to split them in half though. Because we only need one of them going to either side, right? So that's 2,000 soldiers here. And Astoria, once again, is our major point here. Our focus. And I'm going to send two of my armies on both of my armies there right to Astoria. And they're going to raid the hell out of this county there once again of this kingdom. I killed the latest king in prison to get some piety out of it. Um, he's still looking rather good at me though. Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay, he's a treacherous salad. So yeah, he's also ugly and wounded and one-legged. If we take him prisoner, might be a good sacrifice to the gods. So this is something to keep in mind. Now Astoria is being swallowed right now by Galicia. And... Okay, we could also raid Galicia. They're weak enough. Um, might be something. And Britannia is also rather weak. Let's also go for this. We are being raided. Okay, this is the first time that I see that I have something in Norway up here. That belongs to me. We actually have a county in Norway, uh, in, in, in Scotland, sorry, in Scotland. The Orkney Islands belong to me, I know this. But other than that, I'm a bit worried about the uh, secret about... Oh! Oh no, he's only a vassal, damn it. We do need, we do need proof against the king. And by the way, Halogaland, Chieftain Kettle. I might kill you. He still has no heir. So we should try this while he doesn't have an heir. Let's try to murder my brother. Right? Because if he dies, we do get it. Um, let's put our very good spy master to the task. Support the scheme. And let's just see that we do get a good scheme power out of it. Can we invite someone? Bjorn? Yeah. He would give us 25 additional power there. Right? This would be amazing. Um, my spy master is helping me on this scheme to improve it and hopefully we can do something there. I mean, it takes three years 
so we might actually be too late then, right? So once he dies, he might have a son then by then. Oh, I think there's someone actually calling or coming. Yep, there is someone actually coming to... Nope! Okay, I thought this was an army that was trying to fight me now. But it was good. Good and all. A helping hand. There is the murder scheme. And let's just have a look. Alright, um, what do we want to do here? The scheme gains pious contacts. I have no idea what this is. Let's have a look at that. Scheme power is increased. Yep, yeah, let's take a walk. This is good. We might, we might actually kill our brother soon. And I don't even feel bad about it. Let's continue. There's the capital. Raiding the capital is always lucrative or can always be lucrative. We have no new prisoners for the moment. They're actually trying to, to attack us. Look at that. Okay, free prisoners, I guess. Uh, for, unfortunately, no prisoners. The capital we've taken... There we have some fun, someone. Infanta. And my brother also created... Oh, come on. What is happening there? My counselor Freya died. That's not good. And my brother created a faction against me. He probably knows by now that I'm... Trying to kill him. Let's continue... Um, up here. And over here. Alright, so we still want to do something there, and we can also imprison some criminals. We can imprison Helena. Uh, that is only 6% chance. Nah, this one works. Who is that anyway? My uncle and champion. I can imprison him on the base of what? Um, fornicator. Let's do this. It'll work. Very good. He's in my prison now. And should we try and kill him right away? Yep, 50 prestige. Oh. Because, okay. Um, this is an act of tyranny though. I should not be doing this. I can kill this little girl here of three without any consequences. Yep, let's do this. But I will not kill my own kin, more or less. Because that is that is not good. You should not kill your own kin. Let's continue with the raiding. There's a lot of raiding going on in Astorias right now that I'm not too happy about. They're taking away my pressures. Treasures. Alright. Let's have a look at something else. First of all, we have a new Godi. A very bad one. Can we get a better one? Bah. We really can't get a better one at this point. Um, 11 is actually pretty good already. So we just keep her. And... Oh! Development is finishing soon. Perfect. And we got a trade. We got the first trade of many. Alright, so for my first um, tree, I would like to go for... The Theologian. Because it gives me um, plus 20% piety here. And another plus 20% piety here. That we boost our piety for the um, religion that we need. Right? We need to reform the faith. So he's all about faith. Um, the Scholar would boost our development ratings. Not something that we need for now. So let's go for the Faithful. We're going for the Theologian trait there for now. Um, speaking of education, my son... Um, there is something else that comes to mind now. If we achieve to reform the faith now, then my son would not need to be a learner. He could also be a steward, just fine, right? So in that case, it might be good actually to have him focusing on stewardship again. Because we need that more when we uh, go to him, because he focuses on development and also... With him, we might actually go feudal. And feudal is very expensive, so we get the money out of it. So my son is actually going with stewardship skill now. So that we train this one. Um, and we got a new prisoner. Very good. So all I'm doing now is focusing on the 4,000 piety that we need. Um, and once we have that, we can go full reforming. And my son can take over then as a steward. This is the goal here. Look at that. There is there is a lot of stuff going on here in Astoria. I think Astoria is also breaking apart right now. By the way, Sweden looks rather stable again. Huh. Sweden looks ready for subjugation. 
And in our prison, we have another prisoner here. Let's execute 50 piety on that as well. <laughs> was sacrificed to the gods. Alright, staring at stars from all my evenings watching stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. My Godi does not approve. Of course, leave the skies to be. Alright. We're trying to be the ignorant brat that she wants us to be, and we would get a 250 piety with that, plus a piety increase of plus 5% for the, for the month. Yep, or heavenly insight. Nah, goes rather for prestige. It gives me a bit, uh, a bit of stress, but it's fine. I need the piety there. We can actually, I think, go for reforming soon. Um, wait a second, negotiate alliance with Lapland. What? No. We want to take Lapland. There's no alliance with them. Plus, I think... Oh, I don't have uh, good alliances at the moment. My son is there. We might use my son right now to um, yeah, have an alliance there with Denmark. Even though, even though this is, you know, as you know, um, doesn't need to be permanent. For now, it's fine. We can always break it apart again. It, by the way, gives him a lot of prestige. Yes. But I want this for now. We can break the um, alliance then again. I want a powerful ally. This is all that matters right now to me. So, that that is something we need to have. So, Lapland Mutual. Very good. They accept it. We have a, an alliance with the king. And look at that. <laughs> He's calling to war right away. No way. I'm not doing that. With Lapland. Yeah, actually, let's go for it. It doesn't, you know, it's not bad. So we have the alliance, we can break it all the time, and um, we can still kill him, of course. No problem there. At least I don't see a problem. We're third in line. We need to kill all of them. And we also need to raid. I haven't taken a lot of prisoners. We need more prisoners. That's all that matters. Why did I lose now an honor point? No idea. Sweet smiles and little lies. My Ragnar gets charming. Sorry, I just have to say it again. Ragnar's school is in Skold. That is my son. <laughs> ah, fantastic. And oh, also we have a bad steward and thus we get the mismanaged population trade in Hörderland. Mm, bad steward. Do we have a better one available? Unfortunately, we don't. And especially, he's a vassal. Yes! No! Hmm. The scheme is known to my brother. How could this happen? We abandon it. I mean, we might try to go right away again. It's not easy. He's not easy. And plus, he's got a daughter now. So, we are not first in line anymore for Hordeland. Has he still the faction against us? Yes. They are still too weak. Um, no one is joining. The steward screwed up and died right after this one. Alright, he probably committed suicide. Now, we have a bit of a problem here right now. Let's check this guy here right now. He's 9 steward, so he's actually pretty good at it. Well, he's average. And, oh, he's also 20 at, at diplomacy. This guy here that we don't have in the council yet. Oh, he's die he died. <laughs> Unbelievable! I clicked on him and he died. Does it work with my brother too? I doubt it. Oh boy, we just lost the next one. What is happening there in my council? Um, yeah, let's put him on the chancellor. He's happy about that. He and he's a strong or a powerful ally, a vassal there. Um, and then we have where's my brother? Down here. He already is in my council though as marshal. 
And he's not really good at anything else, so we just keep him there. I do have my domestic affairs also activated, so hopefully I don't have a huge penalty on anything. We have the dangerous faction to now. And yeah, let's put you on this one for now, even though you really, you suck at it. So just don't do it. And oh, someone else joined in. Let's give him a bit of money to keep him happy. Um, and he also has now a position in my court. And we could also offer him a guardianship, uh, but we only have one child at the moment. This is not good. This is not good indeed. Um, bloop, 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 bloop. What? They haven't made any children yet. <laughs> They're four. Come on, you can do this. By the way, yep, all his traits are really high, just perfect, absolutely loving this one. Also, Astoria has recovered some of its wealth again, so we might take it. Oh, the poor people in this county, or in this kingdom actually, king. Um, we still haven't taken any one prisoner here in quite some time. And yes, another thing we can do is we can go on the pilgrimage, right, we will... Be no, wait a second. You choose a destination. Uh, the further you travel, the more piety you will gain. Longer journeys are more expensive. Um, I'm not leader of any raiding party right now. And I can raid while I'm off. Right? So let's prepare the journey. Asatru pilgrimage. It is time for me to set out on my journey to one of the holy places. We have a lot of money. Um, this is a long pilgrimage. This is all long. It's upla upland. This is Sjalland and this is Paderborn. Oh, Paderborn is in Germany. Really, there are a sutra. Let's go to Upland. It's a long pilgrimage. Pilgrimage, departure. As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of the gods. I have a feeling that we might die. It's time to depart. Out here, late at night, I sometimes look at the stars and wonder, can the gods even see me this far from home? Oh god, I'm a king and what am I doing there? Um, we lose some stress, worldly pilgrimage, theatrical pilgrimage, and dedicated pilgrim. Let's go with that. Gives me another 10% of my piety. I'm all in for that. My raiding parties are on the way to the home now. Unfortunately, no prisoners. We might try the capital once again. I'm finally here. Oh, that was quick. And I have walked the holy path. We get 375 um, piety. Also, we get the trade pilgrim. Another 10% piety boost. Oh, perfect. I'm starting to like the learning path. Let's get back home. Um, it was only two armies anyway, so this should be fine for now. That is something... Nope, that I'm not doing. And the return. My journey has been a long one, but I finally come home again with much remains. The same. Something has changed in how the Godar and Hofgodar treat me. And it does ends. I will not be able to go on another one for quite some time now. Um, and I do have no court physician right now. And my current one is pretty bad. My queen is pretty good. Oh, who should be my... Let's let's find us a good court physician. This one is too bad and I don't want to have my, um, you know, my physician's hands there in it. So we are going to find someone. Let's start the search for it. Alright, brings me back to the king of Lapland. Yep, we take Aina. He's my court physician now. He's a gambler, but he's pretty good at it, right? So... We are in decent hands. We still have that faction. This faction might declare war on us pretty soon. Um, they're not very powerful, right? I do have a powerful alliance. I think it will come to this. So there is most likely the chance that they will declare it. At this point, I cannot do anything else anymore. I could sway at least this guy here. Um, it would take 10 months. Let's try this one so that he loses a powerful ally and would not do it then for us um, Or he declares war and then it's that right. It's about 3,000 soldiers at the maximum we have around 
yeah, more than 3,400. Um, we actually have 4,200 soldiers, our direct army. And we can call in Denmark. So, that's that. Um, I want to go for the Prophet, because this gives me the Faith Creation and Reformation cost minus 50%. So changing religion is only 50% as expensive. So we're going down here this way. And... Yes, and other than that, um, we make, might make the scheme now here. And then we go for the King of Lapland and, yeah, try to kill him. And then there's still the subjugation war against Sweden. And for that, we still need a few powerful alliances, but we might actually go for that at some point now then too. Stay tuned. <laughs> 